So hey, yeah, five and six, this is your second um, instalment of the striking and fielding PE lessons. Hopefully you've done the first one. If you haven't, maybe go back and do that first. We're gonna build up from that uh, throwing and catching that we did in the first session. I'm gonna apply it to some targets today. I'm gonna to build up from the underarm throwing to the overarm throwing. Um, so it's a bit more game specific and a bit more like a striking and fielding lesson, okay? Um, we're gonna start with a warm up. So uh, my warm up for you guys is going to be some shuttle running, which is gonna include some throwing and catching off the wall or a partner, if you've got a partner, you haven't got a wall, that's fine. Um, and some star jumps. So what I'm, going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at this side. I've just got some tins um, to make a shuttle. I've got this little bit of wall here and I'll do my star jumps at that side. And I'm going to do five shuttles in total. I'll show you what one shuttle looks like and then you're going to repeat that five times or even more if you want to, to really raise that heart rate uh, and recap on those catching skills. Remembering when we throw and catch, particularly for this activity catching, that we're using those nice wide hands uh, we're letting the ball come to our hands, easy elbows, soft elbows, and we're copping it, uh, nice and large cup hands. Okay, so I'm going to start with my five catches, five throws and catches. So one, two, three, four, five, put the ball down, run. This side, we're going to do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Then you run back, and that's one shuttle. So you're going to do that five times or more if you like for your warm-up. Okay, have a go. Okay, so warm-up complete. Hopefully your heart rate's a little bit higher, a bit warmer and, uh, and, and ready to go. So we're now gonna recap on some of those little throwing activities that we did now in the last lesson. So things such as, you can start with the clap one. So how many claps can you do? Um, you can try the even more difficult one of the bouncing below, bouncing above and then catching. I'm going to try and do a better one than that. Okay. Okay, and then finally, if you've got a bit of wall again, you can use either wall. Try that alternate hand, left, right, left, right, which is quite difficult. So left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so building up that coordination, improving that throwing and catching, and a bit of a recap from last lesson. Give that a go. Okay, right, we're now going to um, turn it into a target style throwing action. So um, in striking and fielding games such as cricket, such as rounders, you're aiming at stumps or you're aiming at bases or fielding teammates and that's where this game is, is going. So you're going to put a tin out for where you begin and then you're going to set six tins up into some skittles in a triangle like that and you're going to try and hit them. Not forgetting we want to go opposite hand, opposite foot and I suggest you go a little bit lower because it's quite a low target. Okay, let's see if we can hit one. Okay. So once you've hit one or knocked it, you get to move that one away, okay? And you keep going until you've hit all five or all six of those tins. Okay, have a go. Okay guys, we're gonna move on to overarm throwing now. So when you want a bit more distance, wanna uh, throw it at a quicker speed, wanna run somebody out in rounders or, or baseball or softball, then you're gonna use these overarm throwing techniques. So, um, we're gonna use socks because obviously indoors, I don't wanna destroy your parents' houses. And we're going to think about some of the, the, the technique that you use when you're throwing overarm. So like many sports and many skills in many sports, it starts with a side on body position. So a sideways arm, I'm facing the side wall of my corridor. I'm using a corridor for a bit more room. Um, throwing arm's going to go up. So your arm's at about 90 degrees, elbows at 90, elbows also level with your shoulder. Your uh, non-throwing arm, is also going to be up there at 90 degrees and you're going to look just a little bit behind your non throwing arm and as you throw it'll point at your target. As you throw you're going to step with that lead leg okay and that's when your body your upper body hips and shoulders are going to turn as you throw. I'm just going to be aiming at the far wall the far door in the corridor okay so side raise arm that's one two and three, okay? And um, pause the video, have a go. All right, you're five and six, this is your final challenge. And this is gonna be about collecting or retrieving, chasing down that ball, or the socks in this case. So again, really specific to striking and fielding, whether or not you're hitting, chasing a, a ball and throwing it back to the stumps or the base of teammates. Um, it's about doing it as quickly as possible and getting into a good position to throw that ball back as quickly as possible. So, things we need to think about. If I'm chasing this, 
uh, and, that, and I'm chasing this ball down and I'm going to end up throwing it that way. I need to run in as quickly as I can and I want the same foot as my throwing side to just step inside the ball so I can collect the ball, turn and throw all in one sort of movement. Now that's quite an advanced technique, um, but it's something I think you're, you're capable of. So just to remember, same foot as your throwing hand so that as you pick it up, you turn and that foot becomes your back foot and then you're in that good sideways on position that we worked on in the previous activity to get that ball back as quickly as possible. Okay, so a nice simple activity for this final challenge is going to be somebody feeding the balls or the socks. You're gonna chase them down, get into that good position, turn and throw back at the target. I've got Mrs. Pagliotti hiding behind the camera. She's gonna throw them out for me. I'm gonna turn, chase, collect. Throwing foot goes there, turn at the target. Let's do one more. Okay. Collect outside foot, turn, throw at the target. And uh, I'd like to have 10 goes, maybe more. Have a challenge with your, your siblings, whoever that may be, um, and see how many you can hit the target with. Have a go. Okay, year five and six. So that concludes the striking and fielding lessons for this week. Um, this, this lesson has been a bit more specific. Hopefully it's been more specific to striking and fielding games. You've included some targets, we've done some overall throwing, a little bit more movement, and so again, more specific to some of those rounders and cricket games. Um, I'd like to have a go. Um, get your family involved as well if you can. See how many targets you can hit, see how many of those challenges you can, can really do well in, um, and, and enjoy it, and take care.